February, I just realized I got coffee all over my sleeve and it's 8 47. So this morning you'll have seen me get ready, get dressed and run to breakfast. We're not allowed to film very much in the hall um, but I literally just had a slice of toast and I also picked up a banana for later on and yeah I got a coffee in my hand painted mug. How cool is this? Painted it myself. It's in like quarters. Uh, today I'm going to be working from home this morning and then I've got back-to-back -back meetings this afternoon. Nothing too interesting, probably a lot of emails and a lot of grant work today. I am applying for grants for my field work when I go to Ecuador. Doing loads of that because it takes so much time. I cannot describe how much time it takes. Each one, oh. Anyway, yes, that is what we're doing today. As always, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions or anything, pop them down below. And if you'd like to see more of my day-to-day -day life in short form content, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I will put my hand up on screen. So let's go. To start off with though, how cute is this rose? Brian and I went to a Oxford Women in STEM networking event the other night on Valentine's Day. And we each got a rose. It was so cute. So I've just put it on my desk and it's in this carafe. <laughs> Looks kind of ominous, but it's kind of cute at the same time. Interlude over, let's get on with some work. It never starts well when your laptop is dead. <laughs> this is not sponsored and I by no means have to say this, by the way. Look how pretty this case is. I got sent this by a company called Unique Find and I am in love. Obviously I'm going to Ecuador and my stuff is gonna get battered around or stolen, we don't know. But yeah, I wanted a case and they offered me this one. I also got the same for my iPad. So I think I might just take my iPad so I don't have to worry about both. I mean, I'm definitely not gonna take both, but I can turn this into a laptop with the keyboard that attaches here and my mouse. So yeah, either way, whatever one I take, love the cases. So I'm just having a look at my day. I'm going to work here for a few hours. I then have a meeting and lunch and then a meeting about some field work. And then I have the head of department's meeting, then nothing for an hour, but I'm sure this will overrun. And then I'm covering the bursary in college for a few hours before dinner and then I'm heading to trampolining. So a relatively busy day. Also, I've just noticed that you can see my hand fully in the corner. We better get going because I also have the world's longest to-do list. There we go. I have uh, loads of emails to do, some Instagram stuff. I'm obviously vlogging. Loads of Spanish practice. I need to draft some Instagram posts and then do some grant applications. Also, can we just admire my 187 day streak on Duolingo? So I am going to stick with the Spanish and I'm going to practice in my book that I do stuff with Bryony. I've been using this book. I would recommend it. Um, it's really good for vocab and like learning some grammar, but obviously learning with a tutor or a friend is better. Would recommend anyway. <laughs> So I've been sat here, keep trying to turn my laptop on, and I'm like, it's on charge, why is it not charging? I've put the wrong lead in, and it's just not even been on charge for the last half an hour. So it's not going well, <laughs> but at least I've got a cute view today. It's cloudy though, it's miserable. Whilst my laptop is actually charging now, I am going to draft my Thursday thoughts on my iPad because I can do that while that's charging. So I have 
just finished drafting the Thursday thoughts that's going out today. It is how I plan my to do do's, <laughs> my to do's, and organize my schedule. I get asked all of the time how I do it, so I'm gonna pin it on my top of my Instagram because I must reply to like five DMs a day saying the same thing. So I've just done that. It's ten past ten. I'm going to make myself a another drink. I'm gonna have peppermint tea, and I am gonna do some emails. I'm boring, but necessary. Here is the post. So it's actually only eight slides today. Normally they're ten, but don't have enough to write on that one. So only eight. If you're interested, these are the apps that I use. Oh, it's not gonna focus. No, okie dokie. These are the apps that I use, Apple Calendars and Microsoft To Do every single day. <laughs> but yeah, go find the post if you want to know more. Hello, sorry for the hiatus. I think the last film, uh, I think the last thing that I filmed was me heading to a meeting that I had. That was at about 10 to 12 and it's now half past one. I have just had lunch. I had nasi goreng, which was really good. I had a meeting. Uh, now I have about half an hour here before I am going to another meeting in college. A very meeting heavy day and not very much getting done, which is frustrating. I'm gonna do a bit of work here and I'm also gonna take my laptop to the meeting in the hopes that I can do some stuff there. Other than that, not much to report you on. So I will catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> just about to make a cup of tea to take to the meeting and then I'm going to answer some questions on my Instagram because I have about 10 minutes before I need to go and it's been on my to-do list for so long and I have so many questions to answer so I'm going to do that. First tea though. I don't know where my mug is. I was going to have tea but I lied I'm going to make a instant coffee uh, and I can't be bothered to go and get a spoon so I'm going to eyeball it. This is really untechnical. That looks about enough. I have just got an email, sorry, I'm just checking. That, I'll be back. So, kettle's just boiling. I feel very casual going to a head of department meeting in what I'm wearing, but comfort is key. I'm also gonna run and get some chocolate because I have some. some. Here is my chocolate drawer and I am gonna have some Maryland cookies. These are some of my favourites. I have like five minutes. I said two cookies, but there was quite literally no way I was only going to have two. So I'm going to have two more. I just got back from another meeting and it is now 10 past three, oh, seven minutes past three. I have another meeting at quarter past three and then I'm covering the bursary from four. So I am going to leave my stuff here, go to the other meeting, and then hopefully have like 20 minutes to grab my stuff and then head back to the other meeting, to the bursary, sorry. Uh, I've got too much to do and too little time. I feel like every single time I try and vlog, I pick a day where I think it's gonna be a great day to vlog and then I get dragged into meetings or do work that I can't really film so sorry for the hecticness of today and the fact that it's just basically been time lapses of me working but it is now 3 46 and I need to be at the bursary in 10 minutes to make a cup of tea before I go and take my laptop so yeah let's go whilst I'm at the bursary I'm going to try and do some grant work there was four or five that I wanted to email today um so I'm going to try and do that I'm there for like two hours, so we'll see what I get done, depending on how busy the bursary is. It's where all the students come with like queries or guests come, and you have to like check people in, give them their keys and stuff. So I'm hoping that it's quiet, but you never know. It might be, it might not be, but fingers crossed. I'm trying so hard to not spill my tea everywhere. College looks mega gloomy today. Cold in here. I just had to shut the doors and put the heater on. 
I'm so sorry if there's loads of background noise, but I am alone in the bursary now. Still just doing grad work. We'll be here for an hour more, so I'm gonna hopefully send maybe five more applications. They're just letters to charities. Often they don't get anything back, but worth a shot. So you can't see me, but I have just finished in the bursary and I'm now heading to dinner. No, oh, about 10 minutes to eat. I need to rush to training. So I have just got back from dinner. It's so late to eat for me before training. Uh, it is 6.42, so I'm gonna get dressed from then walk to the sports centre. It's like a 15 minute walk. I replied to some emails on the way because in the bursary I didn't really get much done in the way of that. I know that today my filming hasn't been great and it's just been me either talking at the camera or time lapsing, but the day's been pretty non-eventful with PhD work and very eventful with stuff that's in college that I can't really show. I can't really film with meetings and stuff, but nonetheless, kind of shows you a glimpse of what an abnormal day for me could look like. First off though, I am going to shut my curtains because it is pitch black outside. I need to find a top to wear. Hello? Hello, you're coming out my watch, by the way. This lighting is terrible, um, but I'm just walking. Training. hang, put my puff coat on. It's actually not too cold today. I'm gonna be late, but oops. busy day tomorrow. I've got a meeting at 10 o'clock and then a meeting at 1 o'clock and then co-working from 2 until 5. So lots to do again tomorrow. Hopefully a bit more PhD work than today. Time's really been taken up recently by college stuff which is my job but it's also kind of stressful when I have a lot to do. I'm going to try and get a good 8 hours sleep because I've been feeling a bit tired and run down recently and I am the kind of person that needs all of the sleep, all of the time. This is New College at night. This is where they filmed all of the cloister scenes in Harry Potter. It looks so pretty. Oh, it's gone blurry. And then we're gonna head around the corner to Harris Manchester. room and they're having a little picnic and they gave me a Pepsi and another Ferrero Rocher so I've now eaten three or four. There's a big formal event happening in the hall so there's so much background noise and it's from the Saeed Business School that we're having a big formal here. Before I got in the shower, I thought I would actually talk to you a bit today because I know that it's been really chaotic and here, there and everywhere. You saw me doing loads of grant stuff today. I am, as you probably know, let me turn this light on, a self-funded PhD student. So my funding either comes from loans or working. Um, I had some family support in my first year, which was incredibly helpful, but I am actually organising my pillows in the way my fieldwork part of, the fieldwork part of my PhD at the moment. And I'm going to Ecuador uh, next month in March for a scoping trip. So for about three weeks, I'm gonna be out in Ecuador, starting in Quito and meeting with university labs and partners out there, NGOs and things, and then traveling around Ecuador to biological reserves, which is super exciting. That's a scoping trip for my main field season, which will be from about August, I think. And I am applying at the moment for funding towards that, because obviously it's 
very expensive. So yeah, that's what I'm applying for grants for. And whilst out in Ecuador, I'm gonna be working with indigenous communities and looking at biodiversity data and stuff that already exists for the region. So I'm super excited and it will be for the latter chapters of my PhD. So it's super exciting, but it's also super stressful because it is so much organisation. I was supposed to be going to Peru for all of this. Uh, we have a lab out there already and they would have done so many of the logistical bits. But unfortunately, the unrest in Peru has meant that I now need to go to Ecuador instead, which I am super, super excited for. But it just is a lot more planning. So I'm doing all of that now, applying for grants. My Systematic review has taken uh, a place in the back burner at the moment purely because I just don't have the time to be working on it but I really need to get it done soon so it's going to be a busy few weeks for me I think. Anyway enough waffling from me sorry I didn't really show you much trampolining people don't like to be filmed which is absolutely okay. I am now going to have a shower and freshen up a bit before bed it is my watch has died. I think it's about half past nine so yeah shower and get ready for bed maybe do a few emails which is unlike me but i just have so many to do hello i am back after my shower now i'm in bed in my ud i am going to have my lights off by half ten hopefully you can get to sleep for a four eleven and i'm gonna get up quite early tomorrow and try to have a really productive day i'm feeling motivated so also i'm gonna film five days in a row of days in the lifes so need to film one of those tomorrow. My whole camera roll at the moment is just footage. So I need to sort that as well. Thanks for joining me on this really chaotic vlog. I feel like I haven't really shown you very much, which is a super shame, but I guess that is what day to day PhD life is like. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Adios.